The markets uh, will be watching Spain for its first bond sale of the year around these uh, nervous uh, credit markets. Stefan is in Paris, uh, rather, Stefan is in Madrid, which makes a lot more sense when you're talking about Spain. Um, Stefan, <laughs> just... Uh, just travel back to Spain. Indeed. What, um, just on, on the in expectations <laughs> of, of what they're going to have to pay, uh, what are they, um, what's the Spanish government think it'll have to give the market to get the paper away? They really feel more confident after the Portuguese bond auction yesterday. The mood today is uh, much more positive than it was a couple of days ago. Remember, we've seen yesterday the spreads with the uh, German bonds tightening. And this morning, we are seeing uh, uh, Spain, uh, we're seeing the, the yields for the Spanish uh, paper, the five-year Spanish paper, around 130 basis points above the previous uh, auction, which took place in uh, November. So that, of course, is a significant premium, but it's less uh, than uh, what the government feared just uh, a few days ago. The finance minister, Elena Salgado, told CNBC that she's confident about the auction today. She still believes that the country doesn't need some financial support from the Eurozone. And she's also uh, confident about the banking sector in Spain. It's not the view of uh, everyone on the ground. You know that there are two types of banks in Spain, the large ones, which are uh, really diversified like Santander, but there are also some local savings banks. They are very much exposed to the uh, collapse of the real estate bubble in this country and the question is what is their exposure earlier this week the Prime Minister uh, Zapatero uh, promised more transparency for these banks and everyone now is expecting uh, further um, maybe not consolidation but recapitalization for these local savings banks Elena Salgado is confident about the banking sector but to offer you uh, a balanced coverage I've asked also the, the question to the former uh, Spanish Prime Minister uh, Jose Maria Aznar to have his view on the situation and precisely on the banking sector. One part of the of the of the financial sector in Spain is uh, the, the health of the, of, the, of this uh, this part is, is a good health. Another part, the 50 percent more or less, we needed more capitalization mm -hmm. and uh, to be more stronger uh, um, institutions. This uh, this uh, part of the financial Spanish financial sector, we we we, we call the cajas de ahorro, but we need more um, margins in the, in the more, more activities for merging the cajas de ahorro, privatizing cajas de ahorro, recapitalizing cajas de ahorro will be a very interesting problem, but very serious opportunity for internal investors and external investors in the in this sector in Spain. How do you feel about China willing to buy some Portuguese and Spanish bonds? Should we be concerned about that decision? No. China, <laughs> logically, the Chinese government defend the strategic interests of China and defend to make a good business for China. I don't recognize the government of China in a philanthropic institution. <laughs> and uh, I believe that uh, Maybe it can be interesting for the Spanish government to do something with the, Spani the, the Chinese government. But understand this with a demonstration with a special relationship or a philanthropic activity for the Chinese government, it is uh, really absurd. Do you believe it would be a good idea in Europe to create some euro bonds? I, 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 I am not support this idea. I am disagree with this idea. I am agree with the idea to recover in, inside of you the sense of the discipline, the sense of the stability, the original terms of the packet of, uh, of growth of stability. And I think one part of the European problem is, uh, is that we have created a single currency, the euro, with a pillars. And we move the pillars <laughs> and trying to maintain the currency. And this is absurd. We, 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 we must recover the, 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 the traditional pillar. The traditional pillar is stability, is discipline, is not budgetary um, uh, holidays, is, 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 is uh, not inflation. And, 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 and this, is, this is the basis, the, uh, the, the very serious base of the, of, of the competitiveness and, and growth in Europe. So what do we need in Europe? Do you think we should have more governance, more coordination? No, we, we needed to recover the more stability, more discipline, mm? and it is not necessary a, 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 
a fiscal common policy. Why? Because Euro working very well without this policy. Why is necessary this policy? Because you move these pillars, but we we recover the original sense that this is in the in, in, in the pillars that found that create the euro is not necessary to to talking about the, the federal um, uh, policies. It's necessary to recover this sense of discipline, this sense of activity, this sense of responsibility for for a lot of countries. No, this is one of the reasons because invited to the countries to the irresponsibility or to establish that there is not sanction for the countries that fall in the responsibility attitudes is a bad policy. And earlier this week out of Spain, the Prime Minister Zapatero repeated that he was personally in favor of Eurobonds. I spoke uh, also with the Finance, Ministry, uh, Finance Minister Elena Salgado. She believes that Eurobonds may not be the, the ideal solution in the short term. Uh, so it uh, doesn't seem to be a priority for the Spanish government at this stage. Stay with us, of course. We will talk about the Spanish bond auction and we will have the result of the auction a bit before lunchtime. But for the time being, I send it back to you, to London.